Hey everyone, and welcome back to Beacons 101, where we give you mini tutorials on all things Beacons. And today, we're gonna go over how to enable payment plans on your Beacon store with Affirm, Klarna, and PayPal Pay Later. Payment plans let your customers have more options to purchase your big ticket items. Let's say you have a product priced at $100, whether it's a course, membership, digital product, etc. Payment plans will split that payment up into smaller charges over a period of time. Thus, giving your fans more options to pay you and reducing buyer friction with multiple smaller amounts. I don't know about you, but I use payment plans for literally everything. Yeah, I know. I should stop. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Open up Beacons and on the left hand side, you'll see the store app. Once you're in the store app, you'll go ahead and click into the settings tab up top. Scroll down a little bit and you should find the enable payment plans option and toggle that on. You should get this success screen. Go ahead and go back to the main store screen and go into the digital product that you want your customers to have payment plans for. On the right side, click on pricing and you should see the enable payment plan option. I'll get into connecting PayPal pay later in a second. However, that's pretty much it. But there are some things to know. Your product must be $50 or more to have payment plans as an option. Second thing, when seeing and managing your orders, you might see incomplete payments on your charges. Every time somebody clicks on the Affirm and Klarna options, it generates an incomplete payment. This is a pre-authorization before somebody is sent to Affirm or Klarna to complete their transaction. This is standard and there's no need to be concerned. The payments will not be completed and your customers will not get charged twice. If you want to enable PayPal Pay Later, you have to disconnect from Stripe. Once you do so, the option will come up. Alrighty, that's the tutorial. If you have payment issues or need help, contact either PayPal or Stripe. In addition, we'll also drop some help docs in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.